Hey guys, I'm going to show you our 16 foot super fly. This is the real cool new fiberglass veil wood grain. It's a cherry wood grain. Uh, we built a ton of these for guides. This is our local outfitter from Baldwin Bait and Tackle just down the road. John Kirkashian's boat. You could ask him how he likes it. It's on our high end trailer under here. We'll go over that real quick. We're going to go over some of these interior options. This boat is super loaded, has a bunch of stuff that a lot of boats wouldn't have. So we'll start from the front. We got a front removable anchor system. This comes out. You can take this out so it's out of the way, but you can put it on there. And he's got this rig so when he's running his motor in the back, you'll see we cut that out for, he has a short shaft motor that he's extra good friends with, parcel with. A long shaft motor, you don't have to cut that down, but that's cut down for a short shaft motor, which he likes that. Like I say, we do everything cool and custom here. We laminate this in here so the rope's out of the way, so he can be running the the uh, he can be running the motor in the back and run the anchor system, or be sitting here and run the anchor system. Either way, you see that we have some of the fiberglass veil on the inside. Uh, we have the hatch under here. We have lots of room for storage here. Power anchor system here. We'll turn the switch on here. Cell phone charger here. <coughs> There's an all on and off system that we have to turn on that's under here real quick. I'll show you the BBT box. There's an opportunity for one or two seats on this. You can slide this off. Most of the time you probably will just have one. We keep it nice and tight so, um, and it's a brand new boat, so it has some room to move. So you can have one here or two. And this is the this is named after their place. It's the BBT box, and you can see it's literally huge. I mean, I'm 240 pounds, maybe bigger nowadays, and I can I can fit into it. A normal size human could fit into it. So you can store a lot of stuff. I mean, he'll stay. You know, a lot of these guides. We have his cover in here. A lot of these guides will have tables, chairs, you know, all you know, grills, all that stuff that you know, makes their customers comfortable. In this market, it's really popular to have that big Weber baby Q grill. That fits in there. That was almost what this was built for, is that crazy grill. And then we have double latches here on both sides, because it's a big old, big old girl. And he went without the foot brace. You can go, because he's gonna put his grill right here, or not his grill, but his cooler. And you can see there's lots of room right here in a 16 for a cooler. This is set up more Northwestern style with everything kind of brought back. So we have lots of room in the front for all you pluggers in the Northwest. See, I'm all comfortable here. And obviously we have room for two seats here. I'll put that other seat here, but you just ask one of our sales guys for more of a Northwest style addition. Or if you're guiding a lot, you're gonna have a lot of people up here. There's lots of room for two, two big guys to be plugging or you guides, you know, an extra person is another 150 bucks in your pocket. We have lots of room up here. You see our feet. We have enough of a toe kick that our feet are not touching up here. We have a couple different casting braces. Um, we have the clover leaf style ones and then we have this. This is a little bit better for fly line. You know, it doesn't catch, but it still grabs you pretty good. You can talk to us about that. We have two different kinds of casting braces. We have the spaghetti mat in here. You can see it's nice on your feet. It's literally miner's moss. There's a little well here with those squares on here. That's on top of that. You'll see we have this are the new Sawyer Bandits. Very light, high-end ore. Um, this is carbon Kevlar, and they rope wrap them. We got some new um, private label ones for ourselves that don't have the, the cool red stickers on them. All of the stealth crafts have a drain plug in the middle of the boat, right here. So if you're if it's pouring rain, you don't have to tip your boat up. All the water comes out, and then we usually have one in the back too. This one has one in the back, so you can still rinse your whole boat out. There's storage for eight rods. You know, the rods go in here. Um, we should have probably grabbed a rod, but we forgot. I'll, uh, on another cut here, I'll, I'll show you some, some rod storage. But there's also 
rod storage up here on top of the tray for stuff, which is really nice. You'll see we have an anchor nest here to uh, stow the anchor while you're going down the road. See it's truck bed liner. Here's the, the main cockpit here. We have a light here so you can be legal running the motor after dark. I'm not sure any drip boat company has that. I'm turning an all on and off switch on right now. And I basically put everything on to on. He also has a cigarette lighter bilge pump into this 12 volt power point. He'll put his bilge pump in there so if it's pouring rain he doesn't have to mess with a thirsty mate. So this right here hooks into the back so we can be legal. After dark there's a little like a tab on it. And that goes on. Have it all the way in there. This seat comes out, which is really nice. If you are sight fishing or something like that, it's nice and flush. If you want to have a dog back there, it's nice and comfy for your dog. And anybody knows Telcraft, there's lots of cup holders. We put two on this side because there was no room for one over here because of the upper um, rod holder. See our real burly latches we changed to, those big boy, powder coated black, stainless, and other rust. Everything on the boat's high end, everything's cool. We have a backup anchor system here in case um, he wants to be really quiet, trout fishing, or his power anchor if you forget to charge a battery or it goes out. We have lights under both of these trays. You see, we got red red we got a red under there we have a power winch switch here which I showed you so you can be the anchor man you can be up here plugging and you can say anchor me we also have a key fob which is a wireless power anchor switch that we forgot to grab but you can walk around the boat that's pretty common now we're doing the key fob anchor system uh, you'll see we have this is what we call the hex light it's just green, and what that enables is, uh, well, I'll leave them all on. What that enables, you can have just the hex light on, and then you're not spooking fish or making other anglers mad. Then under here, we have a green and red strip. You can have just that on to just be legal, and then we have more of like the headlights, which is like the Tiger Stadium. So you can have any of these on, just one at a time. Headlights, hex lights, green and red. I'll turn them all on. You see that we have these cool oar bungees. So, you know, the old style boats, you had to put, you couldn't have a high back rowing seat because we had to put the oars on top. Now we have the oars on the floor. They're not getting scratched up. They're not breaking rods. Because you, you, when you're out, out here, you want to be able to get into all these boxes. So we're going to give this thing a quick spin. Then we're going to go over some of these cool trailer options, whip lights, all that stuff, and get you guys out of here. I'll show you our cool new tilt trailer. It's basically an ice skating rink right here, so I'm going to be careful. And you can see it already automatically comes up, tilts up, real easy. Watch your whip light. But especially pulling out, we'll show you a video of it pulling out. It's just as fun. This is good pulling out. But not only did we build the best boat, but we built the best trailer too. And uh, put this dude back in. walk down my cool catwalk. Nice stainless steel pen. I'm gonna walk down my my cool catwalk. 
This is all rust proof and truck bed liner, so it's got a good edge on it. <clears throat> you see that the new trailer has these cool new load guides here, and then it's got rollers here, big you know steps to step on. The load guides help everything. It's really a great trailer. The lights are out of the water up there. It's very, very high end. There's no trailer that's built as good as that. All you do is the eyes. I'll roll this around a little bit to see. This is kind of our flagship boat. It's got a 60 inch bottom. So it's super stable. got nine foot oars. John likes, on the Primark cut, you don't need really long oars. But, uh, plus John likes them like that. But, uh, the boat really performs nice, especially if you have a tendency to have a big load. If you're only going to have one guy a lot, and not a lot of gear, this isn't really the right boat for you. If you're an outfitter, or if you have gear issues, a lot of people do. It's a great boat. Especially for doing what I'm doing. Back rowing in heavy water. It's really cool.